Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me today for another video. In this instalment, we're going to be looking at an analog, unencrypted and obsolete device that transmits and receives on two bands. This is the Sky Gnome, a short-lived device from the British broadcasting company Sky. It was launched under their Sky Digital brand in 2005 and it allowed users to listen to radio channels and the audio from digital television around the house. The Gnome was launched in September of 2005 and it was only available until mid-2007 with a retail price of around £75. It had many advantages compared to a DAB receiver at the time as it provided more stations than a DAB radio and the broadcasts were almost all of higher quality audio on satellite than via DAB. It worked anywhere in the UK that had a satellite installation compared to DAB which didn't have universal coverage and it was also able to provide British digital radio to non-UK residents making it popular amongst the British expat community. A major disadvantage however was the device was not strictly a radio and instead was effectively an external speaker meaning it wasn't possible for one person to use the Sky TV service and another to listen to a different radio station and this limited its flexibility massively. Although it lacks a mute button or any of the Sky Plus live pause features the GNOME did allow you to play back pre-recorded programs or store 10 stations in its memory bank. The GNOME manufactured by Global Communications in the UK consists of a pyramid shaped mains power transmitter unit with inputs for receiving audio or data from the Digibox via either RS-323, audio out and RF2 connections. The receiver is slightly larger than the transmitter and has stereo speakers, line out and a headphone socket. It's a battery powered device as well as mains powered which made it portable around the house with a runtime of around 8 hours on the 7.2 volt NICAD battery. The known receiver uses a 433 MHz digital communications link to send and receive information from the Digibox enabling you to change channels. You can see the carrier start when the device is switched on and you can hear audible data bursts when buttons are pressed. Audio is sent on one of four channels, 863.4, 863.8, 864.2 and 864.6 MHz with a range of around 30 meters. The transmission is modulated in wide FM, this means the GNOME was easy to monitor on a radio scanner although if it was used for its intended purpose there was nothing private to be broadcast depending on what TV you were watching. Although Sky no longer markets the GNOME, it's still possible to use the units as you've seen here. Until recently the website was available to use but it now shows the message I'm gone. So I hope you enjoyed this brief look at another bit of obsolete radio communications equipment. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, if you have any comments, suggestions or questions drop them in the box below and I'll get back to you. And all that's left to say is 7-3, thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one.